to no more. I cannot. This is this is it. This is it for the live loads. This is just I, I got to get a normal job. These live loads and then live loads and then overwhelm me with all these miles. You overwhelmed with all these miles and then you know want you to go here, want you to go there, want you to go here, and then these customers just take forever, bro. Like ah, this 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 ain't this is not worth it. My weekend is distressed. All these, all these customers from hell and these overwhelming miles. This is why I rather get less miles. And what up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm back with another video. Listen, man. Today I just want to talk about how over the road drivers are severely underpaid, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Over the road drivers. If you're watching this video, let me know in the comments. This is just about over the road drivers. We can argue whether or not other, you know, truck drivers doing other jobs are underpaid as well. That's another conversation for another day. But today I just want to focus on over the road drivers, bro. The majority of over the road drivers particularly from what I see when I watch, you know, a lot of these videos and, you know, I hear the over the road drivers and some of the things that they have um, valid complaints about is definitely justified when they talking about, you know, the mileage rate that they're getting the amount of miles that they're running um, not being able to find parking when they're done with their loads running their entire clock out you know sleeping on the side of the road or exit ramps being away from family those that have families not all over the road drivers you know have families or have partners so you know they're in a different situation they're cool with being out right they don't really have any attachments may not have any uh, kids or anything like that it's a lot of over the road drivers in that situation so you know they would prefer to just stay out and run 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 but man when I listen to a lot of these um, drivers, man, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Um, I kind of feel sorry for them. I kind of feel sorry for them in a sense that they deserve more money. You know what I mean? Over the road drivers, you guys definitely deserve more money. There's no doubt about it. To do the job that you guys do, guys and gals, to do what you to to do what you do day in and day out, to travel all across the country, to deal with various weather conditions, road terrain, mountains, right? Going up and down mountains. Dealing with, you know the tight roads, maneuvering that 80,000 pound vehicle in some of the, you know, most difficult spots. You guys deserve more money. There's no doubt about it. I couldn't do it. Which is why I never signed up for over the road driving. For a number of different reasons. Pay being the top reason. I definitely don't think like um I definitely don't think the money is worth it. I don't think with everything that you guys go through as an over the road driver, just me, my opinion. I just don't think the pay justifies everything that you guys have to go through. Now, there are some over-the-road drivers that are doing well, right? 
and we all know um you know it's sacrifices to to any job especially when you're talking about something like otr in order for you to to be able to make some money in otr as a company driver you know you're gonna have to be out there you got to keep them wheels turning so you know there's some sacrifices that's gonna have to be made so it's just a matter of are you willing to make those sacrifices to get a paycheck that is worth your while I mean if you getting a, a you know a low CPM you really got to run a bunch of miles for it even to make sense to be on the road or out that long, right? I don't know, man. I salute all you over the road drivers that are doing it. And, you know, if you're a new driver, I've talked about this in previous videos, but if you're somebody that's doing OTR and you're doing it because you really didn't have a choice, you couldn't get a, you know, a local job. And so you kind of had to take that route. To me, that's a, you know, that's a different story. You know, you got to start from somewhere. And unfortunately, some people um, have to start OTR. Some people have to go that route because they don't have a choice. So they want to get into the trucking industry and in order to get driving experience, that was the only option for them. So they took it. So I'm not necessarily talking to you guys because I understand. But if you have any kind of experience and you're doing OTR right now and you know you don't like what you're doing, look man, you, you know you can do something else. You can definitely do something else. There's some other jobs out there to where you don't have to be out over the road, you know, running a bunch of miles, being away from family. Um, struggling to find a place to park, running out of hours and all that type of stuff. Um, having dispatchers calling you every five minutes, wanting to know where you're at when you're going to get to this shipper, all that type of stuff, you know, it's just unnecessary stress, man, that you really don't have to put up with once you get to a level to where you have that experience under your belt and you can kind of move around a little bit. But, you know, some people, um, some people get comfortable and some people end up settling. And you know, some people don't like change. It's hard for some people to uh, to get out of their comfort zone, right? So I get that as well. Some people just move at their own timing, man. But I guess whenever you get to the point to where you're fed up, you'll make a move. Again, man, I just think over the road drivers should be some of the highest paid truck drivers out there you know if you're doing anything that's um, specialized obviously they deserve the the money that they make particularly when you think about you know fuel hauling those type of jobs you know you're dealing with um, hazardous materials so I feel like those type of jobs do deserve um, higher pay but I think OTR is definitely right up there with it, man. Just just due to, you know, the amount of sacrifice that you have to make to do that type of job, man. I didn't even mention living out of a truck. I didn't even mention that. I see a lot of these mega carriers, they have nice trucks. But the money that they're investing in the trucks, I feel like needs to trickle down to the drivers. Forget having the nice trucks and you know the cool names on the side of your trucks and all that 
man, the amount of money that you invested in that type of stuff, put it in the driver's paychecks. To me, that would make more sense. I think the morale amongst the drivers um, would definitely go up if they get, you know, higher pay increases. All I see when I look at a lot of these companies, man, they invest a lot of money into equipment. Which they should, right? I'm not saying they shouldn't, but some of the stuff, like having your name on the side of your truck and all of that, come on, man. That's not necessary. That's a cost that could have went to drivers. Some stuff just don't make sense to me. You definitely need to have some reliable transportation out on the road, uh, particularly when you're doing something like OTR, you're traveling all those miles. You can't be riding around in a piece of junk. So yeah, you have to invest in the fleet. It makes sense. You know, um, companies that don't invest in trucks that, you know, multi-billion dollar companies, I think that says a lot too. That definitely speaks volumes because um, you should want your drivers to be riding in something that's reliable and something that, that looks good, that represents the company. Um, because, you know, your truck, the company trucks is really, you know, it's a, it's a marketing piece for the company. You know, when you see a nice, nice looking truck going down the highway, to me, I, I look at that and I say, that's a company that, that cares about the appearance. When a driver has a nice truck, a new truck in particular, that's going to make that driver feel good about his or her job. Nothing, it's nothing like getting into a nice truck or a new truck. It's, it's a good feeling. But at the end of the day, man, like I said, I, I see, I watch too many videos of over the road drivers talking like the gentleman that I um, was watching in the beginning of this video. Far too many over the road drivers that have his same sentiment. So I get it, bro. Like I, I understand it. And I'm not here to judge OTR drivers. You know, you guys gotta do what you gotta do, man. I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy over the road. You know, I was listening to somebody um a couple of days ago, they were talking about how they tried local, they tried regional, and it just wasn't for them. They prefer over the road. So, you know, you know, it's a lot of people feel like that, man. A lot of people feel like that. A lot of people look at local work as just hard work, right? Um, it's more, more labor when you talk about local jobs. And um, that's what a lot of over-the-road drivers don't really like. So, you know, um, in the comment section, that's when you'll hear a lot of people talk about steering wheel holders and things of that nature you know it is what it is man you're gonna hear a lot it, it doesn't matter what type of job you do you know everybody's gonna have their opinion at the end of the day right it doesn't matter what type of job you do man you just really got to find out what works best for you and that's something that i've said time and time again on my channel somebody out there is going to have something to say about the job that you do it doesn't matter what it is so that's the beautiful thing about trucking though it's just a lot of options out there man it's a lot of options and if you're lucky enough you'll find a job that um is a good fit for you you can't get out here and try to do a job because somebody else likes it it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna like it um, regardless of what the job is paying, it, I mean, it just is what it is, man.
every person out there, they have their preferences. You know, um, even when you think about the driver facing cameras, a lot of people don't want to work for a company that have driver facing cameras. A lot of people I've noticed have been very vocal about that. So that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. On the other hand, you have people that don't care about the driver facing cameras, right? So, you know, again, man, everybody's different. Everybody's different. My very first trucking job, I worked for the beer company. We had driver facing cameras. They wasn't strict about it at that company wasn't strict about it I honestly never paid it any attention to be honest with you um, but there are some companies out there that are strict about it from just listening to some of the drivers out there so you know every company isn't created equal man everybody got their own policies rules and regulations regardless of how you feel about the policy you may think the policy is crazy um, don't make sense, ridiculous, whatever, right? And it's not to say that the policies aren't those things, but if you're working for that company, you got to abide by the policies. If you don't like the policies, then find another company to work for. It's just simple as that. A lot of people make this stuff complicated, man. Uh, it's really not complicated, you know? If you're working for a company and you don't like certain things about the company, you got to move around. You got to move around, man. Um, companies put certain things in place, obviously, for a reason. Something probably happened. And um, it's one of those things to where it's like, we need to put these things in place so we can protect our investment, so we can protect ourselves. So when you start looking at stuff from a different perspective, uh, from a business point of view, a lot of things that some of these companies do really make sense, um, you know, as a business owner and uh, as a company. But if you're not looking through a, a business owner's lens, then everything is going to look stupid to you. It's going to look ridiculous. But if you were the business owner, if you looked at it in, in a different perspective, you probably could understand like, OK, I, I see why they doing this. But if you just looking at it from an employee point of view, a lot of this stuff isn't going to make sense to you. But I digress, man. That's my thoughts, man. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, I really want to hear from OTR drivers. What do you think, man? And don't just say, you know, you're underpaid just to be saying you're underpaid. Really let me know in the comments section and why. Because like I said, I feel like um, all the things you guys go through, I think you definitely have one of the most important jobs, if not the import, most important job in the trucking industry. You know, having to transport all these goods and products and everything else that you guys transport. All right, gang, my bad. Uh, my camera got too hot, so I couldn't finish the video. But, yeah, that's all I had to say, man. I just think you guys are definitely underpaid. But I want to hear from some of the OTR drivers out there, man. Am I wrong? Drop it in the comments section. Let me know. Y'all take care. Peace.